so like I just told you guys in my very last video I did I have all types of stuff going on right now in my life that I'm, you know, that I'm currently dealing with right now at the moment. But I took the time out to actually go back and try to find out about all these shutdowns that's going on. Yes, I'm chiming in too because I am a YouTuber. And I do have that right to uh, speak up about something that's going on in this small section of YouTube. So, again, I go back and I, and, I, and I look at everything. Everything. I look at everybody's videos who's making the rant videos. Well, everybody's channel, whose channels got shut down, who came back and made, you know, a rant video. Um, the speculation videos aka the finger pointing videos and I've went and I've looked at all the, the comments from all the people who comment on everybody's videos and everything. I even went to um, to Instagram and saw you know a few people that's, that's involved in all this stuff and I'm gonna say this like this, right? Again, this is just my opinion, you know? Take it how you want to take it, but I know how I'm saying it. A lot of all this stuff, this drama, did not come about until, and I, I hate to say it, Replica Shoes got involved in the whole game. Because sit back and you think about it. Look at all your YouTubers who uh, just do straight authentics. Look at your Jumpman Bostics. Look at your Hess Kicks. Uh, just the sneaker addict. Guys, just, I, I can't think of Eddie Wynn. Look at those guys like that, okay? Their channels will, 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 will never be attacked like that because they just do straight, authentic shoes. I remember a point in time when Hess Kicks came out of his mouth. He's, and he said some real foul stuff according about, about the replica shoes, but his channel was never in danger of being shut down. The sneaker addict said... Uh, had an issue at one point in time well not an issue but he said something along the lines about uh the prices of jordan the jordan prices um what a couple a couple years back and people had people felt a way about it but this channel was never in danger of being shut down elite kicks remember elite kicks i believe it was last year he made his video before he stopped making his videos and everything about how he felt about the whole replica, replica thing and people felt a way about it. But again, this channel was never in danger of being shut down because when you go back and you look at these guys' channels, again, they just talk about straight up things and it was never that type of drama when it came to the whole authentic scene. Even with, you know, as, as opinionated as these guys were towards replicas, their channels were never, was, was never in danger of being shut down. Never. They never had any kind of any links in their descriptions to go, you know, if you like these shoes, go check this out, this, that, and the third. You know? It was competition, but it was friendly competition between everybody, all these authentic guys. Because of course, man, I mean let's be let's be real. Everybody wants to make the makes the best videos so people can continue to sub and so they can continue to get the views. Right? But now, boom, heck, heck goes the, the, the replica guys, all right? The whole replica scene came came about, and that just shook up everything, you know? And when it comes to the whole, the whole rep thing, I mean, there, there's pros and cons, okay? 
pros and cons. I'm not gonna get into all that, but common sense should know what all the pros and cons are in the whole rep thing. But the biggest con was, yes, it's illegal. It's legal as hell. I've heard a lot of people get on YouTube and say, well, um, matter of fact, I heard Kicks for Days say this one, at one point in time about some some dude who does, uh, I guess, video game reviews or something like that, something along the lines of, of, of that. But they're like, I guess, not video games, I guess the, 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 the something to do with electronics. And don't quote me on that, but it's something along those lines. And he says that this, this person is, is, was doing this for like years and nobody never messes with him. But when it comes to the replica thing, replica guys always get hit up of replica, replica shoes. And this, and, and, and I say it like this right here. People like that will never get bothered with because people like that stay to themselves. They stay to themselves. They don't click with anybody else. They don't mess with anybody else. They get on YouTube. They talk what they talk about. They don't make enemies. They don't make any friends. They keep it consistent. They keep, you know, their enterprise. It's all about their business. And then that's it. People come on, you know, like or dislike, whatever, whatnot, but their channels are never in danger of being shut down. But when you look at the replica shoe community, we have all these all these different personalities from old guys to younger guys you know and first of all there was there was never any rules in this whole thing no no rules everybody just came and, and do as they please all right there was never like a, a hierarchy saying like hey this is how we're going to do this right here boom boom this that the third you know what I'm saying? Because when you look at it, everybody's showing the same exact shoes. I don't care how good you edit your videos, how good you cut it up, whatever, whatnot. The shoe does not change that you're showing. The shoe is still the same. Okay? That's how I look at it. I don't care how good you talk about this you, this, this shoe, how, how, you know, how good your edits are and how high quality your camera is. At the end of the day... If Joe Blow is showing a Jordan 6 on his channel, it's going to be the same exact shoe that this other guy is showing on his channel. Same thing. All right? Nothing changes. The shoe doesn't change. But like, but again, you have all these different personalities and everything, and people see that there's money, money involved in this, and, you know, it's like it's almost like the damn drug game. Oh, so-and-so is cutting me out of my money, whatever, whatnot, so, you know... I'm going to sneak this in or I'm going to get it to where, you know, I'm going to have all this, 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 this negativity thrown his way so his channel can get looked at so the YouTube police can come and shut him down. Now, you got these different groups of people going, it was him, it was him, it was him. People, you know, pulling up their evidence or whatever, whatnot, and you know, it's like, no, it was him. Look, I got this right here. And everything. And it's like, man, you know what? At the end of the day, man, if you want to... If you want to continue to thrive in what you're doing, it's best just to stay to yourself and don't mess with nobody else. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? I'll go and I'll support you. I come like your videos, thumb your videos up and everything, leave a nice positive comment. But as far as this whole clicking up thing, nah. That's why a lot of these guys who go getting shut down, oh, I'm I'm tight with them. I'm tight with a, with a, a bunch of them. I am. But when it comes to the whole, you know, clicking up thing, you know what I'm saying? It's like, eh, because I picked that a long time ago. Once you're in a certain group together, you know how they say birds of a flag birds of a feather flock together and once the people start plucking those feathers I don't want nobody to clip my wings you know what I'm saying because it's like 
guilty by association. Oh, DJ messes with this crew. DJ messes with that crew. So when we, we take him down, we take them down, we're going to take him down too. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stated myself. You know what I'm saying? It's hashtag DJ. Hashtag Mr. NC Stand Up. Period. I'm a team. I'm, I'm my own team. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm good where I'm at. You feel me? So, I'm, I'm like a lot of people in this whole thing. I'm neutral. I'm just looking at it and I'm just like, just shaking my head, man, because it's, it's ridiculous. It's damn ridiculous. And then you got the uh, the people who who up these guys. It's like, you know, man, it's crazy because you had you look at the comment section. It's and it's it's like it's like a, a army. This person has this army over here. That person has that army over there. And everybody's just going at each other. I'm looking at a lot of the people who's commenting. And they, and they like and they love to see this the, the beef continue because you watch go to the comment section you'll see the same names in each of these guys' videos and they're bigging them up yeah if so and so and so he ain't nothing he he's a he's a he's a liar go to the next person video same person yeah man if that person well damn homie you, you was over just over here you know what I'm saying saying that this person was a liar you know what I'm saying then of course you got a lot of people in the comment section that's that's kicking some knowledge like hey man this is stupid. What are y'all doing? Now, something I will um, disagree with, but I, I hear people saying, hey man, why don't y'all just go ahead and, um, you know what I mean, F forget all this YouTube beef, you know what I'm saying? Which is silly to say, but, you know what I'm saying, y'all should just, man, get together, click up, whatnot, man, just forget all this mess. And let's, let's be real, man. That's not gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? It sounds good saying it, but in reality, we know it's not gonna happen. So. Honestly, that's something we don't even, don't even need to be said. You feel me? Because we already see that all these bullheaded guys, these strong personalities, nobody is going to stop and say, "Hey, man, you know this is this is jacked up. That's jacked up. That's just, no, that's not gonna happen." So I'm not. Don't even waste your breath trying to get these guys to compromise because it is what it is. If they say it's war, it's war. Just let it play out. You know, just let it play out, and that's where I'm at with this whole thing, man. I'm not gonna sit here and tell nobody to do nothing. If y'all want to get on YouTube and and go at it like this, whatever or not, even to the people who I rock with, if that's what y'all want to do. Hey, shoot your shot. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, once this whole thing is over with, you know what I'm saying? You gotta look look, look yourself in the mirror and and ask yourself, was it, was it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Was it really worth it? You know what I'm saying? Because I can get on this thing, man. I can, I can, I can talk to people who I talk to, and I can listen to them talking. And I'm like, yeah, for real, man. That's, yeah, that's messed up. Because hey, in in all reality, it is messed up. But hey, if that's what you want to do, you a grown damn man. Who am I to try to stop you from doing what the hell you want to do? You already got in your mind made up already. That's what you want to do. So rock, rock out with your cock out. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. So I'm not about to get up there and tell somebody just to, hey, y'all need to cut this crap out because once once a damn bull is charging, you just can't make him stop. That bad boy just have to keep running this course until he gets tired and say, you know what the hell with it. I'm done. You feel me? So that's where I'm at with it. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, man. So I would I would wish everybody would use that, that type of logic when it comes to this whole thing, but everybody's not because everybody loves the drama. Everybody loves the BS. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves it. So hey. All I say is hey, sit back, get you some popcorn, and enjoy the show. Because it's not gonna stop because we want it to stop. It's gonna stop when they want it to stop. Straight like that. So that's pretty much it. Well, I, what I wanted to get off my chest. Um, and that's it, man. So, I get it y'all next time. Like I said, this probably this will be my last video for like for a minute, man. But like I said, I got I got stuff going on. 
like some real life stuff going on right now. So, you know, once I get everything, all this crap behind me, I'll be back. But until then, y'all be easy, man. Deuces.